What's going on, everyone? Charlie here. So I have the official court document for the uh, the class action civil lawsuit that was filed by the uh, New York or New Mexico State Investment Council. Now, this is the one, remember, involving credit default swaps and a 15-year conspiracy. These are all of the banks included. Um, I'm going to link this below so you can take a look. But, I mean, look at this. Credit Suisse Group. AG, Credit Suisse AG, Credit Suisse Securities LLC, Credit Suisse Capital LLC, Credit Suisse International, Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley. I mean, you name it, it's in here. But then at the very end, it says, and Jane Doe's 1 through 100. Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll link this below so you can take a read. I'll go ahead and read the introduction for you real quick. Um, so it says, basically, since 2005, the Wall Street banks that comprise the major dealers of credit default swaps or referred to as CDS, have been engaged in a conspiracy to manipulate the CDS final auction price, the benchmark price used to value all CDS contracts market-wide at settlement. The final auction price is generated through an auction process that was introduced to the market by dealers in 2005, before 2008. So likely what caused the crash, they're, they've been doing it still, nothing's changed, they got bailed out, and they're still using the same instrument that was responsible back then. And the dealers, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, Barclays, BNP Paribas, Citi, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and RBS, collectively the dealers or dealer defendants, have implemented this conspiracy by using their power over the CDS auction process to rig the CDS auctions and produce a typically super competitively low CDS final auction price. Working with the three entities over which the dealers yield significant power and influence, Creditex, ISDA and market together with the dealers, the dealers conspiracy has yielded them billions of dollars in cartel profits at the expense of non-dealer participants like plaintiff and the putative class members. Plaintiff New Mexico State Investment Council brings this class action to stop the defendants from continuing to violate federal antitrust law and federal market manipulation law and instead hold them accountable for their illegal conduct. I mean, amen, but how long have we been trying to do this? Um, you know, there's been several lawsuits this year came out, uh, but not one this significant. So we'll have to see how this plays out. This is the first uh, initial statement. Um, but yeah, I'll link this below. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, I'm going to have to take a look. And if I find anything that stands out, I will definitely bring it up. But uh, anyways, yep, got this straight off of Pacer uh, right here. It was uh, Thursday... July 1st, when it was filed Wednesday, June 30th, and uh, yeah, I'll link this below so you guys can take a look. Have a good one.